I've done a little more thinking. I don't really know why I didn't, didn't do this before, but I'm going to start using the rainbow because again, I'm going to need I'm going to need as much healing as I can possibly get for the later game. So I need to, I need to start training it up and getting some mastery on it now, because the mage, as you probably saw, is ten or not ten. I can't count five. Mastery higher than the Rainbird is. So we're gonna see what we can do with the Rainbird now. It's I need to put like yeah, forgot about that. Um, it's not bad right now. I mean, it's still it's I need I'm going to eventually need more healing than that. But again, we'll get more mastery before the end game caves because like cave twenty five again. Alpha Pig, boss of Cave 25, and arguably the hardest boss in the game, and the and arguably the hardest cave in the game, you have to use the Rainbird to basically even have a chance. So, I need to start using it now, if I have a chance of winning this Nuzlocke. Luckily, every bird still has four lives, except for Colt, which has three, because I'm an idiot. I still forgot how I lost a life on Colt, but I'm pretty sure it was by, uh, no, I remember, it was by the, uh oh, okay, I'm all of a sudden horrified, hold on a second, oh dear god. All right, that's that's instantly terrible. Again, the Doom Drone, if you don't know, is probably the hardest regular enemy in the game. Its attacks are kind of insane, which you probably can't see that because of the layout. But as as it attacks, you take more damage, and it can self destruct and instantly kill all your birds. So. Gonna hope I don't see that anytime soon. And again, I'm I am not dealing with the Doom Drum boss because it's ridiculous. It's it's literally a force lose battle. So I'm saving my mighty eagle for that. Um, I forgot what I was even saying before that. I was just focused on not dying. All right, comments. Whoa. Um. Let me do this. Why is there another doom drone? Doom drone, doom drone in front of me. No, don't go after them. Don't go after them. Go after the... Mm. Luckily, I'm over-leveled and really OP. Otherwise, I could be in trouble. And he also calls in extra allies without using a turn. So that's always wonderful. Every two turns. I thought it was every three turns. Yeah, bye-bye. If they would have that thing as the boss of this cave, you could have you could have like a force loose cave early on, which would be insane. I need him pulled up. Alpha Pig might sweep you if your RNG is bad enough, but otherwise you should be fine. Um... Yeah, that's terrifying, to say the least. Um... Which I've known that for a while, but still. And then, oh yeah, I mentioned, uh... 
Why are you here? I mentioned the, um... So, again, in this game, in the top left-hand corner... Cor corner, corner, the corner, mate. I can't talk, I'm British now, apparently. Uh... <laughs> In the top left-hand corner, there's the pause button, obviously, which you can use to abort the battle if you so choose. I'm sure you know that by now, obviously, if you're watching this. But, um, I made a rule to where, since, why they're all red. I made a rule to where, in this Nuzlocke, if I do abort the battle, by that way, chill. Then, Kobe. Then I lose a life on every bird that is in the battle because I'm technically surrendering, thus saying I'm going to lose, thus losing lives. I don't know why my dog is on crack right now. Kobe, calm down. Thanks. <laughs> um. Whoa. Oh, because there's a dog outside. That's why. Um, but I brought up the potential of a rule to where I could use maybe one abort per battle, per battle, per cave, and, you know, just to have a chance of salvaging something, which was kind of approved. Sure, but only once per cave, and if you lose the battle after aborting and trying again, it's two lives instead of one. I love that. Because, I'm all about the uh, strategy of where higher risk, higher reward. I'm all about that in this series. But now let me tell you what this means. So again, obviously, if I go out of the battle after aborting it, and I get swept, which means, obviously, hard to clarify, getting swept means losing all my lives on all my birds. Like, they all, they all die in the battle. That's what that means. If, just, go in there. If I abort, go back in, and get swept, then that is two lives. However, if you don't recall, I made the rule to wear I can use uh, five revives per cave. And again, revives are if both my birds here were to die, I could use ten lucky coins, which is the gold, obviously. Ten lucky coins to revive, to revive my birds back to full health. And I made a rule where if I, if I lose my birds, revive them, and lose my birds again, that's two lives lost. So now... The gold is the lucky coins. 47 up there on the top. Just. So now, what this means is if I abort a battle, go back into it, lose my birds, revive my birds, and lose again, I lose three lives on every bird in that battle. So there is a real chance here that one battle could end this entire series, in essence. It wouldn't really end it unless I had lost lives before, or unless Colt was in the battle. But, nevertheless, it's still insanely scary. Like, that could take me down to one life on, at most, four of my birds. And then, I... Yeah, I would have... Yeah, because in the later caves, you can't use the allies. So you can't you can't use Colt, Fresh Prince, all those. You can't use any of them. So I'd be down to one bird, and I'd have to rely on one bird to sweep the entire series. Not possible. <laughs> it's literally, literally not possible. It probably is possible with hacks and months of grinding... Which I'm not willing to put into this. If it was possible, I would I would put put that much into it. But I don't think if in that scenario, 
I lost the four birds I was using in the battle. I don't think there'd be any scenario to where I could win because those four birds would, in essence, be my most useful birds because I was using them in that battle. So if I were to have to use... I don't know why. I did not mean to do that. If I were to lose my helpful birds, I'd be left with the one that was useless for useless or less... Let me restart. Okay. I can't speak. I'm also doing this right now because... Basically, in the later caves, you can only use four birds. Well, you can use three birds and it alternates between three birds and four. So, let's say I'm in a four a four bird stage. I would I could lose four of my birds and be left with the one I wasn't using, which would have been the least useful, thus making it that much harder to sweep the game with that. And not to mention it would be the least useful one. So, basically, what I'm saying is it would be impossible if that were to happen. Like there's there's no way I could get it done. It's just not happening. If you remember the Cave 25 Nuzlocke, uh, that, it's, I still haven't technically lost it yet, but, uh, it's, it's close enough to being lost. So, if that happens in this one, I will be absolutely devastated. I believe, I believe that's all the comments. Yeah. yeah. Those are the comments. Basically, in essence, we just have to not lose three lives on four of my birds, because it, it could it it could it it would it would more than likely end this series. If not, it would end the series for a long time while I ground my birds up and make sure that I have every mean necessary to get a guaranteed win. Oh dear god, there's a Doom Drone in this battle. Okay, well... I'm bringing in... Okay, didn't mean to do that. Bring in the Fresh Prince here. I need to take out that, do that Doom Drone first. Because if not, then it's just going to keep on racking up allies. If I wasn't insanely overleveled, I would be horrified right now, because this is a, ter a terrifying sight. Ugh, now I can't heal that off. Because I don't have... Luckily, I'm. this is my full, one of my full damage lineups, so... This one's like a full damage and a healing lineup, so we're really kind of sad here. It's fine. I am going to stun you for a turn, though, so I can hopefully get you, KO you before calling in more allies, but I don't think I want to be able to. And mm, I'm an idiot. I don't think it would have mattered, but... That, but that would take him out. But okay, that was that was more scary than it had to be. I just keep forgetting I'm over leveled, and they're level fifty. All right, so we're fine. K fifteen now. <sighs> I keep forgetting we're over halfway done with the caves. That's kind of crazy. I would love the snatlings. Thank you. Never. Oh, yeah. The, the tin. The tin. The tin one is replaced with an item. Um. Hell. Another one bites the dust, as the old saying goes. What is this cave? I don't remember. Great Divide. Oh, Lawrence. Yep. 
Blade Chili feels way slow. 75% slower. Wonderful. Level 53 through 55. They have now officially outpowered me. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Disregard. Okay. We'll do, we'll do up to stage 5. And then we'll be done. Okay. The... Not a massive fan of this cave. It's just a bunch of basic pigs, but still. And if I need the rage chili, I can, of course, use the veggie cakes. Because they, they basically fully, fully fill it up anyway, so. Yeah, it's filling up way slow. Like that, barely any. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that at all. But thankfully, I don't have to worry about it. It's just a bunch of basic picks that they are really easy to, to defeat. For now. Please don't. Please stay like that. <laughs> Rather not lose in this cave. This is one of the first episodes in a while where I have not made a pretty bad mistake. I say that as I do that. That is... <laughs> you cannot make that one up right there. It's one of the first episodes in a while where I haven't, where I haven't made a mistake. And I do that. Yep. Yep, that's... That's accurate. Oh, boy. 2090. Okay. Um. I'm fine, but I'm healing because I don't think I, I don't think I can kill him from that from that range. Again, would have lost a life right there if I wasn't smart. Yeah, I I haven't made a single mistake too bad this episode, and as I almost could have lost a life right there. Yep. That seems about right. Oh god, I'm so worried. I'm so worried about my, my own intelligence because it's gonna. I'm not saying that in a cocky way. I'm, I'm not saying it like it's good. It's really not. It's bad because I'm not smart enough to realize that if I make a mistake, it's going to cost me very much so. So I need to not do that. So don't like their power is getting really close to mine and it has been for a while but now it's really close and they are probably going to surpass it by the end of this cave I don't like that <laughs> I knew what happened but I don't like it I, that makes my decision easier what I was going to do does it though yeah it does it's going to heal I'm not taking any. Oh my god. Okay, well, that actually kind of helps me because now you die to the poison and I get to set up completely. Yeah, the rain bird is weaker than I would like, but. It also does chip damage to every pig on the field, which is pretty useful. And I can still set up like I always do, like that. Even though it takes longer in the battle. It's always creepy when I record my videos because I always record them like late at night. Like right now, it is. I'm gonna say it's 12:59, so basically one o'clock, and it's just completely silent in this house. And I don't like it. had something up here but it kind of left me that happens a lot things leave my mind when I'm about to say them way more often than you would think or maybe about as often as you would think because most of you know that I'm pretty stupid <laughs> so uh, yeah it's fine it's fine 
totally not brain damage or anything. No. What are you doing, Kobe? I don't know what you're doing, but okay. Oh, cute. <laughs> I did not do that. Um, my light is it, it's one it's one o'clock on the dot now. So as you can see, yeah, one o'clock, and it's set to turn off at one o'clock every night. I guess it's it has the timer on the light bulb, so it that's not it's on. Still creepy, <laughs> and the lighting's better than I expected it would be. So that's fine. Okay, I don't like that these enemies are actually kind of scary now. I mean, they're not because I have healing. And potions if I need them. Yeah, I'm gonna... I, I don't know. Just not, not in the entirely comfortable range anymore. Which I don't like. But I knew this would happen again. Again, eventually I knew this would happen. Not a big deal, I just gotta be smart and play my cards correctly. Kobe. And not take insane hits from brutes. Later on in the caves, I'm gonna have to extremely rely on getting the reset set, which you probably haven't even noticed. But it like, it like resets the charge bars. Like that one on the brute right now. If it'll actually work after I get done, get done attacking. It didn't work. Great. Of course it didn't. If it can work this time, please. It didn't work that time either. That's wonderful. That's great. Great thing to look forward to. So we're in a weirdo now. And the wind is blowing and it sounds weird. If the reset set can work here. Hey, it works! So it does that. It has like a 40% chance of doing that, I think. The chunks set out in bonus. I did not mean to do that, but okay. And the treasure hunters for the blues. Or MFK. Also does that, but it has but at a sixty five percent chance. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be using both, and I need to hope that I get charge counter resets on the brutes because if not, they could one shot me later on. And I don't want that. I'm just gonna get some extra damage in, and oh, I got it again. The thing about the rain bird is I can cleanse off negative effects and heal and get chip damage, which is really good. It's more helpful than you would think, especially in a nuzlocke rock, especially in a, in a nuzlocke like this. I'm actually almost almost gonna get the rage showy in this this stage once. <laughs> Great. Is this the third, fourth, or fifth stage? I can't I cannot remember. You need to chill out, and this won't kill, I don't think. No, it won't. Didn't think it would, but it's fine. Thankfully, it doesn't matter at this point. I'm so happy I'm, I'm three-starring everything, everything, too. That makes me really, that makes me really happy, actually. Because... Again, if we get a thousand, I think it's a thousand, is it a thousand? A thousand stars. Then we get the golden pick machine, which has a higher percentage to get set items than the normal one. That's exactly why I'm using the rain bird. Mastery is huge. So 
There's only three waves. Well, I, I guess they'll use one of them. Since it's the second to last stage anyway in this episode. Probably not the right one to use in this point, but it's fine. I still can't remember the name I gave the adventurer, so... I'm so smart, obviously. I want to actually put it on you. Alright, well. Hit the... Hit... That's you. Of course you don't hit Coolio. Because he has the counter. God, I love that. <laughs> Not that it matters anyway. Uh... We does this, yeah. So we can afford to do this. We can, we can, we can. Oh my God! It didn't kill. Uh, of course it didn't. So I can just do that and set up even more. Probably unnecessary, but it's fine. I'm not. I'd rather be too too careful than not careful enough, which is what which is. Not careful enough is going to happen eventually, so. Alright, well. Thank you, extra damage. Yes. That is great, paired with. What's it called? The volley, because it gives extra damage. Alright, well. Nothing crazy. Yeah, this cave should be pretty easy, actually. Unless I'm not, as long as I'm not stupid, which I can't promise. Is, which I mean, you know, you you all know how I am. I'm I can be stupid. Most most of the time, I am stupid when it comes to recording episodes, but it's fun. For example, that accidental month hiatus I took. My bad, my bad. Still didn't mean to do that, but I'm not gonna be able to record any any next week. And it's July twentieth or July. It's it's June twentieth, so I'm I'm not gonna be able to record any next week because I'm leaving for a cruise that will last, I believe, a week. So I will not be able to record any then. So and if I don't and if you don't hear from me for a month, for a month, then just assume I got I got I got killed. <laughs> So, or kidnapped. Hopefully, another one will happen, but you never know. All right, last stage of the episode. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure using the rain bird has been way slower, but it's fine. All right. Well. I don't like I don't like the the big waves of weaker pigs because it just takes it's more annoying and it takes longer to do and they actually do do decent damage now which I don't like all right that'll do that good again having Coolio in these battles helps extremely because I get damage on every single pig. Which is important, obviously. Good. Hopefully, you just don't. Yeah, you don't live. Okay, good. And we'll do this to get the snatlings. That's why I love using Colt, because he gives me extra snatlings, and those are very important for getting potions that will actually be useful in the later caves. That's another thing. Um, in my actual playthrough, I didn't have the maximum potions. So if I get the maximum, the maximum potions, of course you got the five percent stun. Yeah, the five percent stun. Of course you got it. So if I actually get max potions, that's, that sounds like a Pokemon thing, but it's not. If I get max potions and actually master it up on, hmm. But anyway, if I get if I get the best potions and I'll be able to actually use them, 
then that should be even more of an advantage to why I should be able to win. Obviously, I cannot use any any type of potions in the Alpha Peg and Snore battles. Cave 25 and 26, 26 bosses. So, we're going to hope that this goes fine. And if it doesn't, then rest in peace to me, I guess. We're going to hope it goes fine. <laughs> If I lose in the Snore battle after beating an Alpha Pig, I will be so upset. <laughs> like, like y'all don't, don't even know how mad I would be if I lost to Snore. Like nothing bad towards Snore. He was he's he's the final boss in this game, and all that good stuff. But Alpha Pig is way harder. It should have been Alpha Pig should have been the final boss. But instead, we got a big pirate. <laughs> and there's not even any, like, lore ending. Like, the ending is not at all... In... Like, it's not about... It's not even, like, a story ending. It's just literally the end. Which is unfortunate. And we will get the... Chest... Even 50 lucky coins now. That's cool. And some mastery. Anything useful. The samurai. And my healer. And the... And the... Ooh, the treasure hunter's got one too. Sweet. Alright, guys. That is going to do it for this episode of the Angry Birds Epic Ultimate Nuzlocke. I hope you all did enjoy this episode. And I... Ooh, how long an episode was this? Ugh. Okay, a longer one. But I hope y'all did enjoy. Um, I hope none. I hope none of you are going through anything in real life right now. But if you are, feel free DM me over on Discord. Ask me for my snap. Hit it. Hit me up in the comments. Just anything. Just do not suffer in silence. It is the worst thing you can do. Um, it is Pride Month now. Um, it's June twentieth, and June Juneteenth was yesterday. And any, if any of you are struggling with like any issues relating to any of that, I promise you, this is a judgment-free zone. My channel is meant for you to have a friend that you can come talk to 24-7. I'm open. I will respond as fast as I can 24-7. Just hit me up on any social media platform. The goal of my channel is to make you all feel like you have a friend that you can come talk to at any time because I know not everybody has that and everyone deserves to have at least one person they can come talk to. Which is why I try to be here as much as I can. With all that being said, stay happy. I can't talk. With all that being said, stay happy, stay humble, stay loyal, and I will see you all in the next episode. I'm out. I just took a screenshot. <laughs> oh, I'm losing my shit. See you out later. <laughs>